Games Workshop. Okay, when I was at the NAS, I judged figures. And as I was going across the tables and looking at who to kick out from the beginning, one of the guys had that. And it was, I just fell in love with it. Um, and actually, while I was at the NAS, I looked on eBay, looked on Games Workshop. If you walk into Games Workshop, you're going to pay $110 for that kit. Jesus. I paid $82 to include shipping off of eBay. Is it resin? No, it's plastic. Wow. Um, again, if They're you've never heard my rants about Games Workshop mm -hmm. stuff, mm -hmm. you know, sure. plastic is ultra, ultra soft, mm -hmm. which is great for people like me that use that liquid plastic because it dissolves it really, really well. Um, I don't know who designed their kits, but they really need to be shot sometimes. Well, there's just a lot of parts. Uh, I didn't want to show you that. I had two choices. Make the top look good, or make the bottom look good. This is going to be seen. So this is where I made all my joints as good as possible. As you can see, other than right there, it's about the only place that's going to probably need putty. The rest of it's just going to be clean up. Because the goo spurts out and fills all the holes. Bottom, however, was a completely different story. <laughs> Three days later, when I tried to clamp it, these spines the body went together, but the spine started doing this on any amount of pressure. So I basically did it as best I could. Couldn't find a set of any of my clamps that would hold these spines here. So there's going to be a lot of filling in there. Um, like all other game shop works stuff, they give you multiple ways to build it. You can either build it as this gore drag dude or a mega boss. And of course I mix mine because I love this headpiece. I love that face. And like I said, I built the regular character is supposed to come with two hatchets. I'm going to give him whatever that thing's supposed to be in one hatchet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and the neat thing is, if you look at these on the internet, it's like anything else with Games Workshop. There's a game rules and colors, but if you're like me and you really don't care, there's like eight or nine different versions of this Maw Crusher in paint. Blue, red, green. So it's kind of like, to me, a, the dragon deal in... Yeah. Dungeons and Dragons. So these are the colors they recommend? Yeah. I'm going to paint yellow about as much as I'm going to have my head examined. So. <laughs> uh, um, I, I'm more looking at some kind of a blue maybe, but with the bases that I bought, they're more brownish tan, so I'm not sure yet. Um, and that's about it. It's, so far it's been a great kit. I bought some new sanding sticks I'd never tried before. One of them I like. Of course, it's made by Exacto and is no longer made, so I'm gonna have to get the Excel version when it finally breaks. And I've never time to take your pills. Try the. Uh, Oops, sorry, oh, sorry. Excuse me. No, that was me. I found these sanding needles. Clay says they stink, but I haven't tried them yet. But they look kind of cool because they're already pre-round. Oh yeah. Right. I've never tried them yet. I mean, I can feel the grit through the plastic already. I just haven't pulled them out because. I haven't started doing these inside pieces, which is the main yeah, reason I wanted to get them. Don't work. Um, and like I said, these, that's the Excel version, come on, Terry. That's the Exacto <laughs> version, and they're no longer made. Uh, so I'd have to, I'll have to get an Excel body, and hopefully the belts and everything will all work, but. Those, uh, quick question. Where do the Israeli markings go on this thing? I'm actually <laughs> thinking about doing that. This was a Syrian model. Oh, come on. Syrian, excuse me. No, that's so, why I have to put the logo on. Actually, that would probably look more accurate. Yeah. So those round sanding sticks, if they're the same brand I bought, and I don't remember what brand I, it's I have. It's made from Stevens International, yeah, whatever right. that means. They've got a, they've got a ridge uh, uh, seam going down each side. It looked it. So you only have about half the round, mm -hmm. and uh, it... I was not impressed with yeah, the way they said it at all. I may not either, so, but yeah. like I said, if you can see the figure, there's a, this is not a flat slab side of tank. I'm looking at all kinds of contours. And this is the one thing I didn't like as an example. Seam line. Now this part's fine because it's part of another part, but I don't know. I would have designed it however it is they've done this to not be right there and me have to remove it. But like I said, that's why I don't make line. models. So. That's probably yeah. some white on Paint it in there, and when it dries, it sands pretty easily. No, nothing sands easily oh, that, on that, round that, curves. Yeah. That's not that bad. No, but again, I'm used to flat slab surfaces. Instead of using the last tank you saw that had that many curves. 
This is a new. You're better off actually using an exacto blade, mm -hmm. doing a surface scrape on it, and then yep. going back with yep. 3,000 grit and polish yep. it down. I don't yep. even use grit. I use that. Uh, That'll come fine out easy without, without damaging any of the actual uh, pattern on it. Yeah, just back scrape it. That's my only fear is yeah. detail. Tanks with round surfaces, M48, front of the hull. Yeah, M60. not really. Cool, cool, uh, cool. See, that's through. the other thing. I can retexture the tank. <laughs> yeah. Not sure about retexturing a skin surface yet, so. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be fun. I, I always enjoy my builds. Either it'll get done or I'll end up in the garbage can. Either way. Gee, less. <laughs> <laughs> or on the or on the scrap table over here yeah, at the geez. next meeting. Yeah, yeah, for one of the guys that might quite like it for parts. Yeah. yeah. It's like somebody puts a lot of hours and somebody old. just told me. Dave Griffin used to say that there were that there were kits he wouldn't build. There were kits like he didn't like mass box kits. So told him there's no kit that's so bad it can't be used for parts. For those of you that follow my Facebook post, I had said about taking the WC52 and turning it into a civilian camper. Thanks to a company called me, I now have a mattress to put in the back of it. Right. I hey, saw that. There you go. Yeah. So it's amazing what you can find in 35th scale. Now, if I can find some 35th scale civilian license plates, I'll be gold. I told you, I can make you some. That's I not know. a big deal. Yeah, print your own. <laughs> He's not a car guy. It's going to be so weird not That's... entering a military vehicle in a military competition. Yeah. I'll have to enter it in the civilian side. Oh. And mine will have thou stamps. <laughs> and it will get first place. I bet it doesn't. Yeah, yeah. yeah it'll, get, it'll get third. And you'll Dude, it's it funny. I <laughs> thought about entering it, my uh, 23 2, the Dotson pickup truck or right. Toyota pickup. Yeah. I thought about entering it in the civilian it's competition inside. because it's not a real bona fide military vehicle. Right. Yep. The option came there. Right. I mean, I really did think about it. Yeah. What car guy did have a meltdown? No, <laughs> it's not shiny enough. They couldn't, enough. Say, it they couldn't so, say it was a military vehicle because it's not. Yeah, right. I mean, it's so different than doing a, like a, well, it's not really a what if because they really used them, but it's so different than some of the what ifs they did from. Uh, you know, so they don't have what if category that they showed? Yeah, but this isn't a what if. This is real. I mean, it was a, yeah. you know, a technical. It's not a military vehicle. It, Thank you.